Welcome to Slocum Center for Orthopedics and Sports Medicine. My name is Dr. Mick Keister, and I specialize in musculoskeletal injuries, concussion management, and pediatric and adolescent sports medicine. In this video, we will be discussing ACL injury prevention in young female athletes. The anterior cruciate ligament is a very small piece of tissue, but it's very important. It's probably no bigger around than about the size of your little finger, but it is important in keeping the knee stable for cutting and pivoting activities. Without it, the knee is completely unstable and will tend to slide and shift out of position. So even though it's small, it's really, really important. ACL injuries can occur primarily in two different ways. We divide them into contact and non-contact. We see more non-contact injuries in sports like soccer and basketball with young women. And that's when they cut or pivot or turn suddenly and their knee gives out, they hear a pop and they fall. Contact injuries occur more often in sports like football or with boys playing soccer or lacrosse where there's actually a blow to the leg or to the knee and that causes the injury. ACL injuries are more common in young women than they are in young men for a variety of reasons, many of which we don't quite understand. Um, there's been multiple studies done through the years looking at everything from the shape of the knee and the way it's built to hormonal influences. And we don't know the exact answer, but we think it probably has more to do with muscle strength um, and muscle distribution between the hamstrings and the quadriceps. Boys tend to be a little bit stronger in their hamstrings. Girls tend to be a little bit stronger in their quadriceps. And that difference may be enough to increase that, that risk of injury in, in, in young women. The only type of ACL injuries that can be prevented are the non-contact injuries. And not all of those can be prevented. Um, but if we look at some studies that have been done over the years, there do seem to be some specific exercises and strengthening techniques that young women can do to decrease their risk of ACL injuries happening. These tend to be programs that concentrate on jumping, landing, and strengthening specific muscle groups. Some of those programs are easy enough to be done during a warm-up program and can be incorporated into a, a soccer or basketball team's daily program. You can find out more about those type of programs by contacting the physical therapy department here at the Slocum Center for Sports Medicine. Most ACL injuries can be diagnosed through a combination of listening to what the, the, the injured person has to tell us and by doing a physical exam. Rarely do we have to use an MRI to make the diagnosis. If it's a young woman or young man who is participating in a sport and they describe the specific injury and what they felt and what happened, uh, and then if, if we examine them and can actually feel whether that ligament is, is there or not, that's enough to tell us probably 90 to 95% of the time. MRI can be helpful in further classifying that diagnosis and helpful in looking for other injuries such as to other ligaments and to uh, any type of meniscus or cartilage injury. In a young active person, really the only treatment option for an ACL injury is having it surgically reconstructed. Older people maybe aren't that active, they don't do a lot of cutting and pivoting sports, they can consider non-operative treatment uh, through physical therapy and bracing. But a young, active person, if they want to get back to participating in the sport that they enjoy and what they want to do, surgery is going to be required. 